so now that we've got um the jewel rig sort of fleshed out um i think next what we should work on is maybe the housing that is gonna encase it so because uh, i'm i'm thinking this is gonna sit inside a channel inside the ship um so we won't be able to see the side of it at all but obviously we need to keep the top of it open um so it can flip up but we do have a little bit of space under here uh, we could possibly walk around put some internals in um and obviously we're gonna need to come down actually that's one thing i did want to check let's flip let's flip it again um gear lift yeah that's right and then pistons i just want to check to see how big the the drill head actually is so i know how far down we need to make the landing gear for the actual ship. 11. 12, ideally. 12 blocks down from the base. Jesus Christ, this is going to be a fat ship. Oh, I've got an idea. What if we had, um, like, thruster nacelles on the side that rotate down when we're landing and they also act as landing gear that would be cool so that means we wouldn't have to make the ship this tall we would just have some really big thruster nacelles on the side that would rotate down when we're landing and they'll have landing gear attached to them That sounds like I'm asking for trouble, doesn't it? Landing gear, rotors. I mean, come on, I've got, I've already got a hundred subgrids. What's what's like an extra six? It's nothing. I'll um I'll shape all this later. I just want to sort of block in um. The general idea of it first. Okay, I'm not sure if that's going to interfere, so we should probably test it before we get too excited. That's not going to work because that new landing gear is not in the group. Plenty of room. <laughs> um, all right. So we've got the the startings of it. Um, now for the solar array, I want that sitting up here, but um, a very similar concept to this, except I want it to fold down on top of the drills. And then we'll find a way to lock it down. So we want to make sure there's a little bit of a buffer on top of this.
All right, let's uh, let's give this a bit of a swing. See if we can catch it on the bounce. Oh yeah, nice. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, I love it. Now there's a fucking landing gear sitting in the middle of our deck, but that's that's all right. We'll work around that. All right, so that pulls it nice and flat and um, we'll be able to lay down the solar tower right on top of it. It's going to look good. This ship is uh, its getting bigger and bigger. I don't think we're going to be making too many of these things now. Um, because we won't be able to blueprint it. There is so many subgrids here that we would m most likely be better off just building it from scratch. Um, and I don't really want to do that. Once this is done, that's it, I think. So I think we might have to come up with uh, another plan. Um, all right, so there's going to be rotors here. That means we need, what, two two blocks this way? Um, but before we do put that block on, we should put the rotors on because they require a little bit extra space. Um, I don't know. Let's, uh, let's just try it. We'll see how this goes. Um, so you are piston lift solar. Share inertia tensor. Um, same thing. I think it was 9.1. 9.1. Maximum distance. We won't need to increase the impulse because it won't be as heavy as the drill rig. Save. Reverse. Yeah, you guys are fighting. Ah, seems to be working now. How's this looking? Is it clanging? That looks okay. A wee bit bouncy. No, I don't really like those blocks that way. God damn it. I should have done them the other way. I should have sloped them like that. Yeah, that's my bad. I could rebuild it just so I could change those. Actually. I think I can keep it. I'm going to try it. Because I know I can get a catwalk on the piston head if I had some girders. Okay, so if we do that, um...
that should actually keep it connected while I remove this. Let's try it. Nice. Yeah, so I wanted it that way. I think that looks a little bit better. And especially this one. This one will look a lot better if we have that slope going underneath. <laughs> Bouncing around. Jesus. All right, we're, we're definitely going to have to lock this in place somehow. Now, do we want to do the same thing we did up here where we have the landing gear on the side? With some... Blast door edges. Okay. Um, so we've got... What is that? Uh, 12... 24. That's, uh, that's actually pretty close to the 25 I wanted. Um, so I'm not too worried about how wide this is because I'm expecting the nacelles to like stick out quite far anyway so this will this will be nothing compared to how wide these sections of the ship are going to be I, um, I'm going to get sidetracked for a little bit and do some greebling. Okay, now we do have a little bit of space in here. So what if... What if we put uh, an ore detector in here? I need to reorganize my hotbar. Um, no, we'll have to lay it down. And it's just going to be in the corner of one of these sections. But it'll be hidden... Yeah, that looks alright. I think 
we can I think we can work with that. We're not gonna obviously we're not gonna be able to cover up everything on this, but if we can sort of make it look like it has a little bit of style and not just a whole bunch of machinery stuck together, I think it'll go a long way. Yeah, that looks mean. I like it. Yeah, no, I like that. It looks good. All right, let's uh, let's see if the pistons can still lift it because we did add quite a bit of weight to that. Struggling, but it is it is moving. Oh, I love this game. <laughs> Just getting to build this type of stuff is awesome. It's so much fun. Beautiful. Yeah, that looks alright. to go out to the landing pad. Probably. They probably should be, shouldn't they? Um, in which case I should probably build the landing pad first. Because right, I, I want to extend it out maybe one or two blocks just to give myself a little bit of room here to do some greebling on this wall. Because otherwise when we fold the landing pad up it'll be flush against this wall and we won't be able to do anything with it. So it'd just end up being flat and boring. Okay, so unfortunately I don't have the recording for uh, this section here of me playing around with this design, but um, this is something I'm finally a little bit happy with. <laughs> I couldn't uh, I couldn't get anything to look half decent on the side there. 
but this looks like it, uh, it might work. Um, now, I've got a landing gear up here because this is where the um, landing pad is going to flip up to. So I'm hoping this will be able to lock onto it. I'm hoping I've given myself enough room. Yeah, it looks like it should be should be fine. All right, so let's do that now while it's fresh in my head. But essentially, um, I, I want to do a couple of systems as well. Oh, I had to, I had to change this around too because I had I had this reversed. I had the landing gear down here and the blast door blocks up here. And obviously that's not going to work because this needs to extend out. Um, so yeah, I've reversed it around and now the landing gear moves with this. So, and this just slides underneath. So that's fine. Okay, so uh, let's go there. And then there. And we'll have to get rid of this. Um, you're going to have to pick it up, Bob. Get it. <laughs> okay, this section here. Uh, let's do a intersection because this is going to go to the connector. Point that down. see if that um, if that works if it doesn't fight itself um, all right so then let's grab last door blocks Okay, so that's where the connector is going to go. It should be should be tall enough. All right, um, let's do some sort of a edge on here. Maybe maybe go like that. I think we'll yeah we'll go lengthways like that. Okay. Now we just gotta link these together. Which is why I put the intersection going down. Looks good. Okay. Um, and we're going to set up the limits on this. Um, so this is going to be 0 to 90. Okay, locked. Now I cover up all my greebling <laughs> when it's flying. That's all right. Um, we'll have to do something with the bottom of this to make it look uh, a little bit better. But that's uh, that's essentially what we're going for. That looks uh, that looks pretty good. Okay. Um, now, I don't like the fact that these, hmm. 
wonder if we can get this to stand up at the proper 90 degree angle. Let's um let's get them in a group. Uh what's what number is this one? Three, and that one's probably four. Let's put that on there. So we'll need a landing pad for, I mean, a landing gear for the bottom state as well when it's, um, when it's down. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, so yeah, I'm thinking about having a door here. So we can walk straight out onto the landing pad. And then get stuck there. See if we can fix that. That's better. Alright, cool. Um, now, which landing pad is this? Number nine. Let's label that. Okay. So, if we raise this up now and it doesn't lock, um, can we get it to sit flush? Is that a thing? No. I dare say it is this section here. And we can... Actually, you know what it is. It's probably just because of this armor block right here along this edge. Because these blast door blocks have the clearance. Let's get rid of these two. Oh, it's this top section, isn't it? Actually, that looks, it looks vertical now. Um, let's double check. Ninety and negative ninety, perfect. Okay. So let's see if we can get something in here. That isn't going to interfere with that edge there. I wonder if we could put a sensor here. Okay, sensor um, up landing pad. Let's show on HUD and then we'll go over to show sensors field range and then we can see it don't need left or right don't need bottom or top don't need back we just need front and we don't want to detect players we want to detect subgrids that's it 5.05 that's the closest we can get it without going too crazy into the uh, decimal places. Uh, and then what we want to do is when it detects that subgrid, we want to lock the landing gear. So then that way we don't need to have it on auto lock. Uh, and we can wait until this gets right up to it. And it'll be perfect uh, 90 degree. So we're also going to need to be able to unlock it. So we'll do the same for the bottom as well. Um, we'll put a landing, landing gear down there with a the sensor. So as soon as it 
gets to that state, it uh, it locks it. Um, it looks it looks pretty stable here now, but I don't trust the rotors, especially because we're going to be connecting ships to this, and then it's going to start flopping about for sure. It's guaranteed. All right, so let's lift it up, and it should automatically lock in the ninety degree angle. Looks close. Don't think it's perfect though. Uh, it says it is. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah, it does look good. Yep. Yeah. All right, so that's locked. Now, how are we gonna lock the other one? And let's try lowering it. See if it does it good. Oh, it took a little bit of a bounce, but it did it. Um, where are those rotors sitting? Zero and zero. Perfect. All right, that's the landing pad done. Well, except for underneath it. But yeah, it looks good. Um, we still need to pipe it in though. <laughs> That's all right. We've got uh, we've got space here for it. I purposely left that. like it was meant to be. Looks good. Alright, excellent. They must have been a, a modded item. Jesus, I thought they were vanilla. I've used that mod in every one of my playthroughs that I thought the railings were vanilla. Jesus. Alright, um... Well, let's go with the catwalks then. Uh, oh shit, I can't because I put the windows on this side. I could put the windows on the other side. Um, yeah, I think we'll. I think we'll do that. Oh shit, I don't know what we're gonna do about that. Let's just see how these look first. Yeah, because we can't do anything there. How's that look? Looks extremely dangerous. Perfect. <laughs> I should uh, I should set up a timer block actually to do that. So it's all in the one button press. It automatically unlocks the landing gear and lowers the uh, well and reverses the direction. But I, I need to work out where I'm going to put all the timer blocks before I start just placing them down randomly. I want them in here. Uh, if worse comes to worse, actually, I know there's like a few spots in here that have double thick armor. So we could slot a couple in there if we're completely strapped for space. But... I don't think we're going to need to do that. Yeah, that, uh, that looks really cool though, with the railings. Just adds a, a, just a touch more detail. We definitely have to do something about that window. That's... It's got to change. I put these things in here to try and... liven this up. A little bit in here because it was very boring but it's 
think we're going to have to change it. By adding one of those and then one of those. All right, cool. And then, yeah, I don't know. I don't know where it's going to go. But yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. Actually, what would these look like if they were carbon fiber? I like it. Yeah, that looks good. All right. Oh yeah, and I haven't I haven't finished this off as well. Don't don't think that that's <laughs> that's how that's going to look. Um I just I don't I don't know what's going to be here, so I I don't know how to transition into it. So I just did the uh the front there, which looks pretty cool. And uh yeah. Let's um Let's continue on with this sensor theme here and start setting these things up to automatically uh, lock. Because then that way we'll be able to get nice straight angles instead of getting the auto lock triggering a little bit too early. Yeah, they just moved again. <laughs> yeah, but that looks good. Nice and nice and level. Okay, so you are at currently like three degrees. So let's set your lower limit to zero and then velocity 0 0.1. All right, there we go. So let's just lock you for now. So we are going to have to set up some sort of a script that will reset the state of the solar array before we close it down. So because everything needs to be at zero. Oh yeah, nice. Locked. Flush against that. that looks good. Excellent. All right, starting to starting to come together. It doesn't it doesn't fly yet, <laughs> and we have no usable uh, components on board. We've just got a whole lot of moving parts that makes me excited. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, for this side here, I don't know. Like, I don't really want to do another landing pad. Because we don't really need it. We only need one. So, I don't know. I'm kind of, kind of thinking about making an asymmetrical ship. And, um, I don't know. Like, we could, uh, we could put refineries and stuff on here. Cargo. All sorts of stuff. And just have, like, a separate bulge that comes out. Um, the trouble is the the entire ship is very symmetrical at the moment. And it's going to continue to be symmetrical, uh, especially with the nacelles that we have, because they're all going to be the same. So I think if I just have one section that's asymmetrical, it's going to look weird. If the entire ship was asymmetrical, I think it would be okay. But because everything else is symmetrical, I think it's going to look weird. So I might just put on another landing pad um, just for the hell of it. Um, bear with me for a second. I just had another thought. This is what building with me is like. Um, I want to get that block. No, not the window, you bastard. Hmm. 
Let's just see what this looks like. And we'll carry that slope all the way across. Yeah, I like it. It it bulks up this uh, doorway a little bit more. Makes it look like uh, it's structural. Okay, let's get the uh, window back in. Yeah, that's good. I can't I can't do anything with this space anyway because the windows are here. So we're most likely going to be walking through here. Because I'm thinking about putting uh, programmable blocks and timer blocks and stuff in the center here. Maybe a few batteries down the center line here. But we, I do want a pathway to get between both sides. So we'll replace these with just straight blocks. Um, and I can put catwalks along the uh, front face so we can cover up the batteries. So we could put four batteries in there. Uh, technically we can put a battery in there as well. I wish there was a one by three window. Because I wouldn't mind trimming this back one block so we can fit a second row of batteries in here. This slope actually doesn't make a great deal of sense anymore anyway. Because you can't go anywhere. That's a freeze. Oh no, it's not going to be a free space. We'll be able to see the corner. So let's do that to match this side here. And then we can put batteries. Um, so that'll be 10 batteries. I guess batteries I can fit bloody anywhere because they can be attached from any point. Programmable blocks are primarily what I want in here. God damn it. Why? Why rotate it? Alright, that still feels okay. Is six going to be enough? Probably not, to be honest. Um, we're going to have the solar script that needs to be running. There's a script for to stop the drills if the cargo gets too full. We also need a script for Izzy's inventory manager. We will need a rotor script to reorientate the solar array so we can close it. Then we need a script for the um, subgrid thrusters and I think that's it so six might be enough and if that's the case um so let's grab um maybe some timer blocks we're gonna need a lot of timer blocks we're also gonna need a lot of batteries but I don't want to put all the batteries in the one spot um, so we might have some more batteries outside. Yeah, let's fill that with timer blocks and I'll fill that in with full blocks as well. And we can put uh, timer blocks down the center here as well. And you might be thinking, well, it's, uh, it's a lot of timer blocks, but we're, we're, we're going to use them all. I guarantee you. Um, even if it's just for something simple, like 
being able to group the locking and moving mechanisms all into one single switch. Um, yeah, that's where a lot of this is going to chew up timer blocks. And I wonder if we can do something with this to make it... A little bit more pleasing. That's a bit better. Let's try that on all um all sides. Let's see see how it goes. Yeah, it's not bad. Am I gonna add more programmable blocks? We're definitely gonna need more timers, that's for sure. Does that look weird? No, that's all right. Okay, so I'm thinking we don't have anything in front of these. And then that way we can transition into these slopes. Yeah, it's pretty good. We could put a whole bunch of shit up here. Like that's a that's a lot of space. All right, that looks good. Okay, let's see what it looks like up here. I'm mainly thinking about when the drill is in action, which is gonna you know that's gonna be the majority of the time. Um, this is all gonna be empty in here. So we will actually see this. And I think this small amount of detailing might look nice. So I'm hoping that's enough timer blocks. It should be. Should be enough. And now all we've got to worry about is uh, a few more batteries. And then obviously we need the refineries and the cargo and all that sort of shit. But um, I'm thinking we're going to have quite a bit of space back here underneath the solar panel that will be able to fit that in. Um, but I am going to leave this here because I once again have hours and hours of footage that I will need to compress down into an episode format. I, uh, I hope you're enjoying the build so far. I feel like that this entire episode has been nighttime, which is a shame. I'm sorry about that. But there's not much you can do about it. Okay, that should be that one. Um, we don't need to worry about this one though, because we actually have this one set up perfectly. It just uh, it just works with the auto lock. I think we're gonna have issues with this with these pistons extending out and coming back in. I might need to rework this. and get the uh, conveyor tubes in there. Sadly, I won't be able to do the same for this section here, but I'm hoping there's gonna be enough clearance in between these two pistons that it won't cause issues. But I just, I know these ones are gonna cause us problems. So I need to find a way to keep everything linked up. So we're gonna to have to do like catwalks out from this piston head and then come around and link up to this block in the middle and then we can remove this one. It's going to be a mission. That is going to have to wait for another day. So um, I'm going to replicate the landing pad on the other side so you guys don't have to watch that. And next episode we'll continue on with this beast. I hope you enjoyed it guys. Don't forget to hit the like button for me. Subscribe. As always, don't forget to lead your targets and I will see you next time.